Sometimes you just wish you could play bass. Can't play bass. Welcome back, it's Paul at Craig Lodge. Hope you're all really well. So a couple of things I want to share with you this week. First, Max and I are heading off to the big smoke of the west coast, Hoban Town. That's right, do the weekly shop for Craig Lodge. So we're going to show you a little bit of our journey, see some of the beautiful scenery. It's just awesome. And also, touch base with a few people here at Craig Lodge and explain a little bit about what this place is, what our mission is, who's involved, how it started. Maybe you know, maybe you don't. Hope you love it. If you're new to the channel, please like, subscribe, share with your friends. Roll the intro. you enjoyed that short little B movie. Not sure what it was about, just some pretty epic footage. The old iPhone -o. More to come, just learning how to do it. Anyway, to the point, or back to the point, today I'm going to introduce you to three folk. One, two, three, that's right. Ruth Black, Ken Black, Denise Roberts, you're welcome. So they're going to share a little bit about what Craig Lodge is. You might be watching these videos and thinking, what the heck is Craig Lodge? Don't worry, we're going to solve that right now. We're going to hear what they've got to say about what they think Craig Lodge is, their story with Craig Lodge, their history with Craig Lodge, and also how they see Craig Lodge living out its mission, its initial calling here and now, today. So without further ado, I'm going to let them do the talking. Uh, I'm Ruth Black and I live as part of Craig Lodge community. For me, Craig Lodge is first and foremost home. It's where I grew up with my parents and my brothers. My parents ran it as a, as a hotel, so I was kind of roped in, as we all were, to helping look after the guests who came then. A lot of them came to shoot deer and fish for salmon, and it was a case of like working, my parents working very hard in the summer months, and then we had the place to ourselves in the winter months and we could spread out a bit. But that all changed because I read about this place called Medjugorje. Big deal was going to Medjugorje. We went together, me and my wife as girlfriend then and several cousins and brothers-in-law now and we had a great time going to Medjugorje because we were so young and stupid and lots of things that we did, no way would I let my kids do now if it was in the same circumstance. I don't know what was going on. Obviously God was going on. I guess what motivated me was just the desire to be around a miracle like that, to be around something as bizarre and supernatural. I'd heard, I'd grown up knowing about Our Lady coming to Lourdes and Fatima, but I hadn't ever expected it to happen in my time. I didn't even probably think that it could happen in my time. So when I read about it, I was just, I was 19 at this point, I, I just wanted to go. I wanted to find out for myself, I wanted to see if it was true. I just wanted to be around people who were having that experience, who were literally 
experiencing heaven coming to earth, heaven touching earth. You got to see them amazing things and got really close to visionaries and it just um, it, uh, it transformed our lives, uh, no doubt about that whatsoever. And I think you still see that in Craig Lodge today, it's still uh, that transformation that took place and the people who, and other people who subsequently went, is still still here today, it's still, because Magic Gary is still alive and it's still happening and Mary's still speaking. We had an adventure in every sense of the word, but we certainly had a spiritual adventure. I came back convicted of all the truths I'd been brought up in, in terms of my Catholic faith, but I suddenly had got a whole new kind of conviction about them, a new desire to follow Jesus and to, to listen to what Our Lady was saying. My vision for Craig Lodge is basically to be in tune with the Holy Spirit with the assistance and powerful intercession of our Blessed Mother. And I think if we, if we as a community can, can achieve that, constantly remain, you know, decided for that, that we, will, that we will follow the promptings of the Holy Spirit, that we will lean on our Blessed Mother, then Jesus will be manifest in our community and God the Father will, will bless us always. And I just, so for me, the, the vision is to, is to live in that way, to live in harmony. And, uh, and I think that that's what it looks like to me. That's what I see in our lives as we work together in harmony. And very often words don't need to be spoken. We just, we just do, we do what we do, but only by the grace of God and only by his powerful and amazing intercession. My parents, when they, they came back from Medjugorje, they felt that God was asking them to do something radically different with their lives. And they, they decided to turn what had been a hotel Craig Lodge into a house of prayer and that's continued to this day so this year it's our 30th birthday and over those years a community has has grown up around Craig Lodge people who just share that desire to to answer the call to holiness by listening to what Our Lady is saying at Medjugorje and very simply it's it's a life of of prayer and of service and sharing the good news with others the kind of charism that comes across to me in Craig Lodge is what it feels like is it feels like a place where people love each other and that is actually the truth. It sounds a bit soppy but it's actually people care for each other and they treat each other with respect and, and they have a laugh and all the rest of it but I feel that they love each other. I feel that, okay we've not got any guests just now at the moment because of the situation but I feel that uh, when we have guests, that's what, what I think they, a lot of what they experience. They experience the peace of the place and they experience the, you know, the ambiance and the serenity and all that stuff as well. I think they also get loved as well and I think that's why people basically come back because they feel loved when they come here. Um, and I think love is the most important thing that we do, really. I came to Craig Lodge for the first time 20 odd years ago. I came on the ninth day of my first ever novena to our Blessed Mother. There was a retreat that weekend. I didn't even know really properly what I was letting myself in for, but, but during that retreat, I was just changed forever. Four weeks after that first visit, I went to Medjugorje with Callum, and uh, I came back from that, that, that time in Medjugorje, and I just said to my dad, Jesus is alive. God really had my attention. And, and I, I'd say the direction of my life just changed dramatically. He helped me resolve and sort out a lot of stuff that was in my heart and in my mind and, and in my understanding. I didn't really understand that God loved me at all. So. so he prepared me to come here, but once I got here, there was still so much more. It just doesn't change. It doesn't stop. I'm learning new things all the time from my community members. At its heart, it remains very simple, just sharing this this house and this place with people who who want to who want to uh, deepen their relationship with the lord um, and it's a beautiful place to live and it's a beautiful work to be part of